What's up, Buck fans? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. The Buccaneers went out and signed yet another star player. This time, it's troubled Antonio Brown. What's he going to bring to the Bucks? What did he do with Tom Brady last year? You only saw him in one game, but if you saw us in the live stream, every Monday at 8 p.m., if you want to check it, check it. But let's talk about Antonio Brown. Literally just dropping into his own, being a target for Tom Brady. What would you see, Plus? Antonio Brown's really damn good. <laughs> That's what I see. Uh, he's a good player, a great addition, I think, to this team he's going to be. I think he's going to work out because this is it. This is it for him. It's his last chance. But, yeah, he just understands concepts. He's a very smart player, went on the field, and he just knows how to attack defenses. You're going to see him and just watch how he runs his routes, watch how he attacks his corners, runs right at him, and then stop on a dime. That's how you run an out route, everyone. <laughs> so all Buck fans love out routes. That's total sarcasm, but – like Plus was saying, he's not giving away if he's going in, is he going out. He's going right at you. He's not going to give you any information where he's going to go. When he breaks, he's breaking hard, getting two feet in. Great receiver doing great things. But just head, let's get it in the game. So what can, what else can he do? He just, he's in a zone, he's in an out route. That's come back as well. Bottom of your screen, turning to Brown, trying to do something with it. So you can use him any which way you want because he can run any route in the route tree. But Plus... Tell us a little bit more. He's he's multiverse. I mean, he can he's so diverse in his game. Like you said, his ability to, you know, do comebacks. Uh, here, you're going to see him on an end around. Yeah, I mean, so you can use this guy in multiple ways. He doesn't have to be, you know, your top receiver. He doesn't have to be the main guy. So you can use him like you know on these plays where he gets, you know, 10, 10 targets or something like that. I don't know how many targets he's going to get, but you can use him in a different different ways here again he just wins off the snap i mean just his ability to stack it here this is a great touchdown the patience you know on the on the on the fade route here and one thing i like about him he doesn't show his hands until right before the ball gets there so i mean usually receivers that want to get ready for the ball they're getting their hands up he's getting his hands up at the last moment not giving anything to the cornerback to to feed off of to understand what's going to go go on but also give brady credit perfect back shoulder throw and then Perfectly placed right in his hands, right in the chest. Touchdown. So that was Brady. And then also, these are missed connections. But check him out right here. Off the snap. Immediately wins. Pushes the hand of the corner down himself. He's being the aggressor. And then stacks him. Brady just misses him here. I mean, they could have had a killer connection. But Antonio Brown did Antonio Brown things. <laughs> but what did you see, Blast? <laughs> Yeah, you said it perfectly. That could have been another touchdown for him. He could have had three touchdowns in this game, really. Uh, He was winning consistently, and he's a really good receiver. So, yeah, we're hoping that he can bring this kind of ability to Tampa, and and hopefully the connection continues to build like this and get stronger. Look at that release off the snap. I think this is making Fitzpatrick before they traded him. And look at this shimmy shake. Never gets his hands on him, and he gone. Just, again, Brady probably just getting the timing down with Antonio Brown. If he throws that more to space, this is that third touchdown we're talking about. So, Antonio Brown, if he brings the same intensity, same caliber player, which it seems like he is, good God almighty. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but let's keep going on. Him, 2018 tape. This is him against Casey Hayward, a pretty damn good cornerback in himself. Just check out him beating him. Again, not giving away what's it going to be. Is it inside, outside? He's running directly at the corner. Then he releases inside and then stacks him to get that touchdown. Plus, divulge. <laughs> yeah, Brown, I mean, he just he knows how to win against these guys. Like He knows how to set them up. He sets this up perfectly. He knows what route he's running. So he's going to, like you said, attack him and then, yeah, stack. And then he just creates the separation. He creates the separation that he needs, and then he wins at the and point of attack. And makes the catch. Yep. And I lied. It wasn't a touchdown. Damn it. <laughs> but we keep going on. This dude's just good. I mean, comeback routes, and then look how he comes back to the ball. I'll show you where he's at right here, top of your screen. Just a little simple comeback route in his own, but keeps working back to the quarterback to secure the catch. This is stuff like little things that good receivers do to help out their quarterbacks just in case someone can come inside, you know, mess with the ball. He's not going to allow that. He wants the ball. He's going to get it. He's going to be the aggressor. really like it. What do you like? Yeah, all, always moving, like like you said, he, you know, staying on top of his feet, and good job there. Like he's, you know, just coming back to the football, helping your, your quarterback out. Here he's at the, the bottom of the screen, 
Again, just a nice route. Look at that. Just veteran move here, sticking his arm out just to give him enough separation. He's not pushing off. He's just he's creating that little space that he needs right there on the churn. <laughs> and it's a good job, you know, focusing, coming back to the football yet again. Things we a nice see Mike cut. Evans always do. Right. I mean, that's what makes him great. I mean, they're going to complain about it, but hey, he got it. And again, coming back to the ball. Love it. So check him out here. He's shadowed by these two guys. He's literally just going to run right at him and then do the deepest in route I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> just, just deep. It looks like he's just like, okay, I'm covered here. Might as well just break in, go back to where my quarterback's at, never giving up on the play. Touchdown. What'd you like? That's an amazing catch. Like He covers a lot of ground. Like you said, it's the deepest in route I've ever seen too. Uh, it looks like he's trying to run vertical there, and then, yeah, he sees the space. So great adjustment by him. And Roethlisberger, he's the best at, you know, escaping the pocket, creating more time, and delivers a nice pass. And here's other ways, you know, that, you know, he can be utilized. Just winning winning at the point of attack, winning the, the back shoulders. Uh, this is something that, yeah, just take advantage of that matchup. But with the body control, too, like to stop, right. plant, jump body everything's moving in unison very nice play very nice player what can you say and then how how i love this when i saw this on tape Lattimore versus antonio brown oh he's gonna have nightmares watching this but a great player doing great things what can you say it's on repeat but mm -hmm. Lattimore's good in himself but antonio brown's <laughs> antonio brown <laughs> just yeah get his head on right and he's pretty damn good what do you like about he's this one? He's amazing. He's one of the best receivers in this game. So, yeah, when you look at him here, this is just good connection between him and uh, Big Ben, uh, understanding where the back shoulder throws are. Uh, here, I believe they're going to, yeah, use him in space on the screen plays. This is something you can see, obviously, the Bucks doing. They do it all the time with either Scotty or Chris Godwin. So, yeah, take advantage of his abilities in the slot. You look at that space there, let him get yards after the catch. That's a nice play running here again. Running back. Another screen yeah. here. Yeah, this is a nice just design. Look at all that space. And he's going to get a lot of ground. Almost breaks that tackle. It's like this is stuff you've seen. I mean, and then it's Bruce Arians' offense, similar to Bruce Arians' offense, stuff where it's not going to be unnatural for him to know. And you never know. It could be the very similar verbiage from way back when. So hopefully it is so he can adapt really well and then make plays like this in this offense. I'm not going to expect like three touchdowns first game, but hell, I mean, <laughs> look at what the ability he has to do. I mean, immediately winning off the snap against Marshawn Lattimore again. Look at that release, the space again. And then safety to help can't get there. Why? Because you just won so quick off the snap. Look at this. Whoop! Gone. <laughs> well, what do you like? Uh, he's just so well connected. Uh, you know, with his body movement, he's a very fluid uh, player. And yeah, you hope he's, you know, in this kind of shape and he can come back and, and really provide a spark to the offense or just be that that guy that can be a difference maker when when called upon. Uh, but these are the things that he can do. I mean, look at this play here. He does again another great job of just selling this and then look how he comes back to the football, that late adjustment there. And I ended and it on the favorite route of all Tim Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> it's an out route. So but you love how he, yeah, you love how he curls this. Like he's going to curl it back to the football. Does a good job of just securing. Uh, he's got the corner beat. He knows that, so he's got time. And two feet in too. And yeah. it's the little details that great wide receivers, great players notice, and that's him coming back to the ball, two feet in, and you're a great player. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the Antonio Brown breakdown. Let's see what he's going to bring to us as Buck fans. Other than that, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff for us, and until the next one.